because the sound of a woman, I think a lot of fans are thinking what I'm thinking right now, which is finally, is that how it feels? Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the most impatient person when it comes to like holding back music because it's like my artwork and when I'm finished it with it, I want to give it to everybody. All right, let's talk Hideaway because in some ways that was a song that really thrusted you into the limelight. When you were writing that song and filming the video, did you feel like, whoop, that's a hot potato? Like it definitely had a gut feeling about the track because I like it was the one track that I was like wanted to take a chance on myself and and also to mention the fact that you had a hairline rib fracture. I think I was like on, a, on an adrenaline rush and I think my brain just like somehow masked the pain. I was a ballerina, but I haven't done it for years. And the the guy who was lifting me is like a total different like style. And then I kept doing it and doing it and. Of course, I did something stupid and went to a martial arts class the next day. <laughs> what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. How has your life changed? I think almost everything about my life has changed this past year, which is crazy. Now, I'm in a different country almost every third day. <laughs> A lot of people might not know you were a ballet dancer and you were also in the Canadian Navy Reserves learning to code break, learning to use a sniper. Uh, so how did music fit in? And my dad playing piano almost every day. He loved just playing ABBA music or Andrew Lloyd Webber. He'd always wake up in the morning and play something. So all those influences led to the Spice Mice? Oh, you saw that! I saw that photo. Yeah. Are you the one with the pink boa? Uh, yes. In the photo. I'm in the front. Yes. It was my first band, The Spice Mice, and I would walk down the streets singing like actually just mouse versions of the Spice Girls song. <laughs>